Hello and welcome to City Skylines. We are playing Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I am your humble host, Christopher Tarantola, aka Architectin, aka Swifty Spider, depending on where you find me. So we just finished what I have deemed Bridger Golf Course. Uh, that is actually a name that's derived from the real Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Um, and there's actually a, a Bridger Teton National Forest and, and some other things. Um, I won't go through the whole history of Bridger, um, mainly because, honestly, I don't know it. But um, uh, I, I figured I'd pull a name uh, from that actual area, and so that's where Bridger uh, is derived from. So today, what I want to do, now that we got our golf course, now I, all I did is I really I just laid out trees, and um, I haven't really detailed it out beyond that. I don't know that I'm going to do much more. I was originally thinking I'd do some parking, but you know what, I think enough parking is going to be there um, as is, and I don't want to do too large of a parking lot. Um, I don't know, I could do like what uh, Sam Burr would do, and like have like a, find an asset and put it out here as the, the clubhouse and what have you, but I, what I will do is I will create a, and I'm going to give a little bit of room to be able to create a clubhouse and that kind of stuff here. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to create a uh, a bit of a neighborhood here that surrounds it. Um, and that neighborhood will obviously be um, part of the country club that this uh, golf course is uh, the center of. And so what I'm going to try and do is try and make it to where my back, the edge of my... What do you would call it? The back edge of the the grid for my buildings are just coming up to the edge of the golf course here, the edge of the tree line, if you will. Um, I don't want to eliminate too many trees, actually, and I probably will um, try to find a way to, to to add some back if they get deleted too much. And what I'm thinking is I might actually try and uh, take the time to find the assets myself and literally put my own assets along here so as to not create too much of a... To, to get the look that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to really get, which is that of like the, the a golf course. Okay, and so then we'll end it there and do a nice tight little turn here. And then we'll go along the river here for a little while. And, uh... Alright, so... Just go along the, the coast here. And then... I think... I'll, I'll bring it on back around here. And, uh... It won't be very big beyond that. And we'll kind of just parallel it here. And then we need to figure out what's going on here. We're also going to want to bring this road going on along here. So, I think this is where we'll go. Just have this kind of come straight across. Um, I kind of don't want to have such a rectilinear straight road, but I don't know. It seems like that's kind of what it's wanting to be. And it's going to need to curve around this somehow. Right, so we're going to curve around here. We're going to go real close to the freeway here. Oh, hey, bay. Way close to the freeway there. And then come back around. And then I think what I'll do is I'll have it kind of go straight. It straight goes out this way. Okay. And then we'll have it curve this way. And we'll have it interact with the freeway at some point there. Um, it'll interact with the freeway. But 
So that'll be our through line there. Um, kind of doesn't work right right there. So I wonder if I need to either like delete this secondary road, move it closer. Um, I think I'm going to just use the move it mod to kind of mess with that a little bit because I don't like what how it is currently. So we can, of course, move this this way and this that way. And there we go. And then, oh, I'm going to hold down Alt. I'm going to hold down Alt. I do want these to be curves. There we go. There we go. That looks good. Okay, and so now this can come down a little bit. It just looks a little bit better. Uh, not a heck of a lot, but just a wee bit better. Um, I don't know, maybe what we need to do is bring this up that way, have this straightened out. Have it more like that, to where it just curves in instead of having the S curve. It doesn't make as much sense to me, but this does. So, all right, that looks better. So now that we have that, we can go back to our smaller suburban roads, and we can just build there. And we'll want to change this one, I think, to match. There we go. And then we can uh, bring this one on home. That's going to go like that, and that's going to go like that, and that'll go home, and that'll come in this way as well. And that's going to come in like that, and I think it'll go to there like that. So one of the things you, when you're doing a, a really amorphous residential layout like this is you want to think, okay, if I live here, how am I going to get there to the grocery store? So we're probably going to have an outlet, a back a backside of the neighborhood over here. Uh, and this is like the front of the neighborhood. Um, and then so that's, that's what I'm thinking right now. And then this road, we can just have a curve right on into that and those can just be by themselves and here we can come on out maybe come out more at an angle here and then just kind of follow the curve of the existing road here and then bring it home there and then we can bring another one here that comes out this way. Yeah, we'll have it come on in this way. Bring it home there. And have this come off that way. Curve on around. go into that. We could almost stand to just have a nice straight one there. But it won't let it be straight. Have it maybe at least do that. I'll fix that later. And we'll I don't know, we'll leave it like that and that'll probably be where I put a school. 
Um, we'll have a school right there, I think. Okay, so the next thing I need to think about is cross streets. So I'm going to go ahead and, and bring these on down. So that way, if you're over here, you can come up here, go all the way out. And I want this to be like the outlet for the neighborhood. Now, and that'll connect to whatever else is over here. And, uh, you know, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to just have one little connection right there. And obviously that's connected that way. Okay, and so there's our neighborhood figured out. At least the residential part of it. And, uh, yeah, that's not going to connect right now, but it will one day. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, zone all this. And again, I might ultimately end up doing it in such a way that I, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do too many things at once. What might end up happening is, I might end up just, oh, that didn't work the way I thought it would. Uh, doing my own uh, specific uh, ones along the edge here. So I think for right now, I'm not going to zone that. I'm just going to leave that be. And so we're just going to be a little bit more tedious, but a little bit more careful in how we do our zoning. Now we can get into the mass zoning and uh, bring that on home like that. Yeah, that's fantastic. And we're gonna have to get a little bit more careful as we get up closer to this road, the road here. So we'll go back to this way. And we're saving. There we go. All right, we're almost there on the home stretch. Get those guys, and then get those guys. There's some up in there that need zoning. Some up over here. I think we got it. I'm obviously going to need to get water to this whole area. And so I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of go along the coast here. And then meet up with the existing grid there. And then I'll just kind of make it go straight. And I'll just do that. And make it as easy on myself as I can.
Okay. Yeah, we probably need to grab that. And we probably need to grab this as well. Just for safety's sake. Might continue these on down. little bit just for good measure right there okay fantastic now I do think we're gonna need to get some power over to it I think we can just use our suburban power lines to do that straight over from there and straight across here Come on down I appreciate how low impact these power lines are compared to the the stock ones. They really are. Okay. Now I think we can let it go. The other thing is, is are we going to have uh, an exit and on ramp here? And I think some level we just have it. be like a, a medium road here and we might even just go down to this and do like this number here and just have it literally just straight on intersect now I just put a uh, power line right there so that doesn't look too great so let's fix that we'll fix that power line Straight across. Yeah, I was worried about that. Okay. So I need to address it though, because we got a power line that's right in the middle of my road. Can't we have it be one side or the other, but maybe we just have it cohabitate that pole there. There we go. And actually looks kind of decent. Okay. And now we can have it go. Alright guys, so I think that's going to be it for this episode. We'll have some flyovers and fly arounds, but besides that, I'll, I'll just let you listen to the music and watch it grow. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you all next time.